Israeli. Yo, this is Dopo from Project Kumasi and you are tuned in to Project Us. You know what to do, follow us on Instagram, project.kumase. The project is spelled P-R-J-C-T and project underscore Kumase on Twitter. Follow us for forthcoming projects, updates, all of that, Charlie. We got you. Before we delve into the events of this particular episode, Charlie, special guest we have here with us. Very honored to have him here on the show. Yeah, great. Do what we got. We will try. Now we go, bro. I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm giving good. nothing back. Nah, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, good. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just a nosy, nosy guy. I'm uh, very curious. Free? Hmm? Sweet Henny. Hennessy. But sweet. Yeah, I don't, I don't drink that. Sweet Henny. Yes, that is. 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 Late 2019, early 2020, I think. Uh, when I mean, I knew about the Welcome America from Reggie and Kenneth. They had an album straight out of America, but before that album came out, they were like posting it on their like statuses and like all that. So just me hearing the Welcome America made me fall in love with it, and I felt like okay, there could be something. But what what where did we um, where did the word America originate from? I mean, like. That, that's that's a deeper story. I don't know. I I, I think I'm. I, I don't think there's time for that now. But yeah, it's like yeah, to not see a bit different come on. Right, yeah. right. You get what I'm saying. And it was it wasn't until after Virgil discovered you know us through J Biden and the DMC nice. that I felt like okay, then if this is happening, then it means that like there's like a pendulum swing like the world is moving differently towards us in a different way so everything we are thinking can be done so like then i started thinking about what i can do with the word kumerika so i mean and the music was bubbling because we're in the house together so as a kind of idea like we are always making music always making music and like we are waiting for like the right time or you know whatever and then i just felt like okay we could start something whilst we are waiting. So I just thought of the flag and then, you know, I called my guy Luke up to, you know, work on something with me. So we started, you know, we went through a couple of, um, 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 you know, back and forth with the color because I, I needed the exact type of green that I wanted and all the rest of the colors. So, you know, we tried a couple of things and, you know, we got what we wanted. So we started posting it, you know, and I started like creating social media pages for Comerica. Mm. And what I did was like, I was now looking for pictures that I felt represented the Kumasi that I wanted the world to see. So I was posting those kind of pictures, right? And then, you know, uh, uh, one thing led to another and, you know, all of a sudden, you know, Kumerika is everywhere, and, you know, and when Kumerika started catching fire, 
the music was also really cool because you know we like I told you we're making a lot of music so if you fuck with America then the music is gonna blow your mind because there's so much music that is like has this attitude the attitude that we're trying to like put out there right so I think that was when the movement started and then people started like you know people loved the flag so much that they started making their own versions and they started naming towns about with no naming towns with American American, American yeah. towns and then you know people started making t-shirts and you know things with the American flag and you know making yeah so it was it was I would say it was viral but then that going viral especially being being intentional was like okay then we can look or we can focus on the bigger picture because kumar said the america thing wasn't just to show people the culture it was to you know put light on creatives in kumar and people who wanted to like who are going to be able to like creatively sell the culture you know to the rest of the world so i think through that so many you know so many things came up you know and then uh, it's been history ever since you know yeah yeah that's beautiful Charlie. i swear i i i can i can say for a fact that I know Santa says Santa America <laughs> and uh, Bant my day Bant Florida so, <laughs> Bant yeah, has always been Florida I mean, okay since, like, so it makes it makes sense that it is America yeah definitely so like, you can say Bant my Florida well, one yeah. thing is one thing is but I feel like the, the, the similarities that are between Kumasi and America BC yeah, like, yeah, 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 proud of who we yeah, are, yeah, yeah. and we show it. They make an ultimate message, just like an American is proud to be an American. Somebody from Kumasi is proud to be from Kumasi, but sometimes because of you know, we've had issues, you know, having to claim that and all that, but. I feel like the reason why we're having issues is, 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 is based on how we are trying to put it out there. It's like, we feel like we are from Kumasi, so we are entitled to some kind of respect without having to like, you know, earn it or anything. So I feel like, okay, so why don't we put in the work? Because if we say we are from Kumasi and we believe that Kumasi is special, then we have to be doing special things. And then it wasn't like we were not doing special things, but we were, there wasn't like any way of like, you know, showing the world these things that we are doing, you know? So that was my vision, like, you know, to show this energy that we have, you know, all of these things that we have and making it more like, uh, I wouldn't say appealing, but more approachable because you know when you think about the culture in Ashanti region or you know when you think about the Ashanti culture sometimes you are almost scared of you're almost scared by it because you feel like it's so deep and there are so many rules and they do so many do's and don't do's and like there hasn't been enough explanation as to why these things are not to be done and all that and I feel like the explanation is what the culture is because like when you understand why people and I'm sure that nobody just does things just because they want to do things you know there's always like a good motive behind everything maybe along the line it gets corrupted or something but there's always a true motion so uh true motive so I felt like, okay, you know, we should find a way to bring these motives out and make it approachable so that people would indirectly, like, know about our stuff, but it's not like we are sh- shoving them in their faces. They are just the world and they make out as this. So, uh, the music, you yeah, sorry, a cut for even with the artworks that we were doing, like, what I say, and everything is like a white man who say I cut for a boy no chinku just because they love the rhythm, you know. But Obagana can I cut up your boy no chinku is like typical cheek, right? So these are all ways we can like sell our culture and then it's, it's, it's approachable because people, you know, people just uh, hop onto it without feeling. Bro, collaboration is something I'm going to say, oh, tell me, so I'm going to school out. 
Give it to me, 